Hi everyone, it is part two. Sorry, my camera cut off. I have, my storage was almost full, so I had to delete a lot of stuff on my cell phone. So I will just pick up where I left off. And fix my lighting. The first thing I was showing, last thing I was showing was this sweater. It is from Lane Bryant, and I paid seven dollars now normally I don't pay that much but I thought this sweater was really cute um, it has a turtleneck and then buttons down the sleeves and it's like a poncho so it's kind of hard to show it's just long and when I do wear it I'm going to wear it with um, some boot cuffs, some skinny um, black leggings, and that. <laughs> and I'll post a picture on my Instagram. If you haven't been to my Instagram, it is Miss Shops a lot. I am a lot more active on there than I am on Facebook. I am going to change my Facebook to a page or a group instead of a page so that I can do live um, videos and stuff. So. I will be doing that in the next couple of weeks, so please watch out for that. Okay, next are these. My lighting is... Hold on. Hey, they're uh, Burberry. And they are rain boots. Okay. Just want to make sure you guys can see. That's much better. Um, they are the Burberry Hey March... Rain boots, and these were at the Goodwill for five dollars. Burberry made in Italy. They're in really good condition. Um, the insides are really nice, and these were five dollars. They're a size thirty-seven, so they're kind of small. I'm thinking that's like a six and a half, seven, maybe. I'm not sure. Next. It's just this. I pick up board games. I've said it in other videos. Um, this board game is for when I go on vacation with my girlfriends. We're doing like a little um, cabin in uh, the country. So we all bring a game or something. And I thought this would be funny. I've never. It was two forty eight. dollars um, But I do buy board games to for my family. Um... Like once, once a week, once every couple weeks, I'll pick up a board game from the thrift store and we'll try it out, kind of like renting a movie. Sometimes they're awful and they just get redonated back. I mean, mostly the board games are a dollar, two dollars at the most, so it's not a big loss. And if it's good, we keep it. If it's not, it goes right back. So it's kind of fun. <laughs> Some of the games are awful. Um. Oh, okay. So... Next, uh, I lost one of the eggs already. Next is this little set of birds. And I don't know if you can tell or not, but they are lit up. They actually have, um, you can put them on a timer. And they're so pretty. They really are pretty. And the eggs, I'm missing an egg, one fell. It just looks pretty on your table. I don't know if I'm going to keep the whole nest and everything, but the birds are really pretty. They're like that mercury glass. And it's just a really cute set. This was $2. It was brand new in the package, and I've already had it sitting out on my table. Um, okay, next is this. It's a brooch. It was $2.98. It was half off that day, so it was $1.50. And I'm going to do a video of on how to make a brooch bouquet. So I got married three years ago in Jamaica, and we went to a lot of wedding, um, wedding shows and stuff beforehand. And right before I got married, <clears throat> the year before, two of my best friends got married within a month of each other. 
and <clears throat> they spent a lot of money on their bouquets and I knew I couldn't bring a bouquet to, to Jamaica oh we got married in Jamaica I don't know if I said that we couldn't bring our own flowers to Jamaica and buying them there was so expensive and I kind of wanted something that I could keep forever when we were at one of those shows they had brooch bouquets and they were gorgeous gorgeous and the price tag was holy shit <laughs> they were like five hundred dollars a piece i was like i can do this i can make this so my mission for that summer was to go to garage sales and thrift stores and pick up pins now i'll show you excuse the shake i will show you my part of my bouquet It's so much prettier when I take it out and I will do, I'm going to do, so anyways, I'm going to do a tutorial on how to make a brooch bouquet. It was really cool too because a lot of the, the garage sales and stuff I went to when I told them what I was doing, some of them were like, oh my god, this was my mother, she passed away, she would love this. Like, every one of my pins has a story. Um... Then we had for my shower, everybody that came to my shower brought me a pin, whether it was something they bought for me or something that they'd had for a long time. So there's so many special things inside my bouquet, and I love it. Loved it, loved it, loved it. So I'm going to do a video on how I did it. I'm going to show it with this one, and then I'll put, put that one in my bouquet too, um, because I plan to pass it down to my daughter someday. So that's that. Um, next, I bought a diamond tester. This was from eBay. I don't know how to use it yet. Um, there's a lot of times where I am in, I'm unsure if something has a real diamond or not. So I picked this up. It was $12 with free shipping and then you got this, um, Currency detecting with LED microscope. I don't know. I just wanted this. So it was $12 with free shipping. Um, all right. Go into jewelry. So I discovered a new thrift store um, partially out of boredom and by accident. It's like a consignment store. Um, I bought a brand new gold... Kate Spade wallet from there for I want to say it was like three dollars and so cheap they had a lot of nice stuff in there I wound up buying this this wasn't super cheap but it was compare compared to what it cost normally it was cheap um my daughter asked for a Michael Kors watch for Christmas she's I've gotten her a couple already but she wanted a new one and I paid $25 for this, which is still a really good deal, especially for a rhinestone one. It's got a little bit of dirt right there, but all the rhinestones are there. And then last minute after I bought this, she was like, so I think I want an Apple Watch, Mom. And I hadn't gotten her her big gift yet. So I was like, okay, done. I'll buy you an Apple Watch. And I'm going to keep this for myself. <laughs> So for $25, it was still a pretty good deal. Um, next, I saw this watch. I have no idea if it's real or not, but for the price, I picked it up because I'm going to have it authenticated. It's probably not, but for the price I paid, it is a Cartier Santos 100. It was $9. It's heavy. And a lot of the things match, I, again... It probably isn't, and if it's not, I will wear it like it is, <laughs> but um, I'm not sure. So I'm going to have that looked at, and that was $9. It's really pretty. I never would expect Cartier to have a rubber band, though. And when I looked them up on eBay, all the bands are dirty. Like, 
you pay that much for a watch to have have it get dirty that makes no sense but whatever next <laughs> is this keyboard rhinestone awesomeness it is a clutch um i do have an extra thing that i can put on there it was so pretty it's not name brand i thought i immediately thought wow that looks like a kate spade um bag but it was five dollars which uh, is a little steep for a wallet but it is a clutch and i didn't realize that until about five minutes ago when i was setting up and it fits your phone and it's just it's a no-namer but how cute is that for just like a little night out i love it i love it i would totally rock it it was a hundred percent me when i saw it <laughs> okay where do we go from here <laughs> now this okay so my goodwill has been crazy lately again and I noticed they're really bare. Like, all the Goodwills in my area are bare. Compared to what they used to be, they are so bare. Like, their shoe department is bare. Their handbags are bare. Everything. Like, it just... I don't know where it's all going. I know a lot of it goes online now, but I looked online and I, I, I don't see half of what should be there. Maybe they're not getting as much donations anymore because the their business practices. I don't know. But, ooh, sorry. They have nothing there. Anyway, I like to ramble. I'm sorry. <laughs> I need to get my vent out. Um, I did walk up and see this. And I knew right away it was, it was um, authentic. There's just certain things after you've been doing it so long that you look for. Um, this is a Coach Carly Satin bag. And I was like, oh boy, I wonder how much it's going to cost. Now, usually the ones that cost a lot of money now have this big, like, colored zip tie. And depending on what color the zip tie is, is how much the bag is. So I open it up. And to my surprise, it was only $5. So I was like, uh-oh. The inside is probably disgusting. And it's not. So I don't know if this... I don't know. I don't know. Did this miss it or what? So again, I'll give you a quick recap. And I'm going to be doing um, this week a how to authenticate coach video. Um, but just to reiterate, there's never a break in the rings. No cracks, like where it splits. None of that. Um, in none of the in any of the rings. I don't know about these rings. Let's see. We're going to layer some together. No, not those rings, but just these rings. No cracks. Okay, so we got that. Then there is the C's. They should go two up, two together, two down, like this. A lot of the fake ones have C's just wherever. I'm not going to get into a whole thing on how to authenticate it because I'm going to do an, a whole video on its own. And here is the Creed. The new Creeds on the new coaches don't have the serial numbers on them. The serial number is now in a little tag inside the zipper. Um, next is this Bricks crossbody. And I didn't know anything about Bricks until I wound up buying a roll on luggage and looked up the price and they're pretty expensive this is bricks and i paid four dollars for this this is the inside and it's just got the crossbody i can't remember exactly how much this one ranged for but i think in like the 75 80 dollar range it's in pretty good condition. It's got some, like, nicks on the, the satin, but I think it could be... It just needs to be wiped down. All right, next. Move you closer. This is my my cabinet of oddities behind you, <laughs> behind all this stuff. I decided to give you guys a change of scenery. 
Um, this is a Karen Wilson bag. I didn't know anything about her. There is none on eBay. Um, I had to actually look, look to find her. And it is from Toronto. And it is this green fabric with leather handles and leather trim. And then it has this black velvety pattern here. It's really hard to describe this purse. And the inside is like that. <laughs> Made in Canada. And this was $4.98. I took the chance on this. Um, I'm going to look into it some more. But just the fact that it had leather handles and just the way it looks is different. And I did find a new consignment store near the new thrift store that I bought the other stuff from. And I'm going to take some stuff into them because they sell pretty high and they give you a good return. So I'll probably take it to them if it's if I can't figure it out. This next bag is a leather... Nanette Lepore. I have never found a bag by her. Um, I have found clothes, but I have never found a handbag. And it's a really nice leather. Nanette Lepore. Um, and this too was only $5 at the Goodwill. The handles are in beautiful, beautiful condition. There's a couple little wear marks, but nothing, nothing major. And it's just a really nice tote, leather tote. And then it's got the uh, monogram there. <clears throat> okay, this next. Oh, that's stupid. The nest leaves a mess. Um, so anyways, this is a Kate Spade bag that I got at a garage sale. <laughs> I think I paid $25 for it. Um, the only reason I even paid that much was because, one, it had the box and the dust bag, and two, because she took PayPal. And I was like, okay, bet. I got it. I'll take it. So it is this black leather hobo type tote. It's in really good condition. Um... The only issue is this is a little weak, but not a huge deal. This is the inside with the Kate Spade there. And then it came with the care card and the dust bag. So this was, like I said, 25. And I just thought it was pretty, and I haven't used it. It's been sitting there all summer, all summer long. I, I get stuck on a bag, and then I'm like, I have a bag problem. I do. I, I need to go to Bags Anonymous because I just keep buying them, and then I find something better, and I don't use the one that I bought before that, and then I find something better than the other one, and I don't wind up using that, and it's just a vicious, vicious cycle. <laughs> I need help. How can you not buy this stuff at this price? I give them to my friends and sell them to... <coughs> I do sell some, so... <coughs> I support my habit. <clears throat> okay, so this one is a sleeper. I have to do a little more research on it. It was just literally laying in a bucket full of a bunch of junky purses. And... Let me get the price tag out. I paid $3.98 and it was half off that day, so they were it was um two dollars. And I noticed the handles and I was like, oh those are that's a nice handle. That's a nice leather handle. Who is this? I don't know. So I open it and it is a mulberry. And I did some research. And it says that if it has, like, because I couldn't find anything with LP stamped in it. And it says that the older bags, the artisan that did it would stamp their initials in it. So, I don't know if that's the case. 
and it was made in Turkey. And I don't know if there is a serial number in here. I don't know even where to look. I kind of just bought it a little while ago. So if you have any idea if this should or shouldn't or does or doesn't, if it's real or if it's not real, please let me know. It's really nice. It's really nice leather. It's my first mulberry. Hopefully. <laughs> it's not fake. Well, that's it for my haul. This is a long one. And I may have split it into two. And for that, I am sorry. But I know some of you don't like the really long ones. However... 20 minutes is long in itself. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe so that you can see all my videos when I post them and be part of my treasure thrifting family. <laughs> and as always, thanks so much for watching and have a great day.